Hello, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Today we're working on module four, lesson number four, and today we'll be working with parallel lines. How to identify them, how to define them, and how to draw them. So let's take a look at a couple of problems from tonight's homework and see if we can get going. Problem number one starts off a lot like problem number one did yesterday. It asks us to we'll read the directions here. On each object, trace at least one pair of lines that appear to be parallel. All right. Well, I'm going to skip over the piano keys and the note. I'll let you guys take care of those, these ones over here. Um, oh, boy, the chimney over here or the bricks. Uh, there's a lot of stuff there, but I'm going to skip over here to the paper for a second. Let's see if I can look at lines. Well, the lines on the actual paper, right, those look like they might be parallel. But I think also the edges of the paper here on the right and left side, right, those lines look like they're parallel. They could go off to infinity, and they'd never touch at either end. So that's what I found on the paper. Let's see if we can find another one. Well, yesterday I did the skyline. So I'm going to look down here at the skyline here. And I see some lines that I think are parallel. Um, for starters, I think the lines here and here are parallel. And then also it looks like the sides of this building, so the steeples here, that and that look like they're parallel as well. You might even say that that line and that line on the right and the left sides are parallel. And then finally, we might have to use our... Um, we might have to use our uh, our straight edge in our right angle for this, but it seems like this si this side of the steeple and that side of the steeple might be parallel. I would definitely have to get out my straight edge and my um and my right angle template to make sure that of that was true. But it looks to me like the sides of those steeples might be parallel as well. So I found those on a couple of our drawings, but you guys can maybe work on your trapezoid or your ruler. Um, or your, uh, your uh, stopwatch here to find other, er, other examples of what you think might be parallel lines. Okay, let's take a look at the problem. We're going to look at problem four. Problem four asks us, and it's got really long directions, so let's read together. Determine which of the following figures have lines that are parallel by using a straight edge and a right angle template that you created. Circle the letter of the shapes that have at least one pair of parallel lines. Mark each pair of parallel lines with arrowheads, and then identify the parallel lines with a statement modeled after the one in 4A. So let's take a look what they did in 4A. So 4A has this rectangle. It looks like A, B, C, D. And they are looking at parallel lines. And they said, well, look, A, B appears to be parallel to C, D. So that's what they wrote here. Line segment A, B is parallel to line segment C, D. So they did arrowheads on the lines that they think are uh, parallel. And then they wrote it in this notation. So let's see if we can do one of those ourselves. Let's take a look at, um, at letter B. Oh, also, on letter A, I'm sorry, they also circled uh, letter A because it had at least one pair of parallel lines. You know, let's stay on A for a second because I think they could have done more than that, right? As I look at A, it looks to me like line segment AC is parallel to line segment BD. So they could have written that too. They could have said that AC is parallel to... Uh, I'm sorry, it's parallel to B, D, right? And they could have written little arrowheads on those line segments as well. Awesome. We did a better job with 4A than they did. All right, let's take a look at 4B. 4B has this object, right? H, I, J, K. Well, let's see. If we use our line segment and our right angle template, I think we will find that those two line segments are not parallel to each other. At the same time, though, I bet if we looked up H, I, and J, K, and we rested our line segment down here, and we put our right angle in here and in here, I think we would find that these are parallel lines. So let's see. I am going to draw my little arrowheads like that, and let's see which one it was. H, I, line segment H, I, is parallel to line segment J, K. We'd write it like that. Awesome. Oh, that's right, and then we have to circle letter B because that is one of the objects, one of the shapes that has parallel lines in it. So let's take a look at C, and that'll be our last one for the day. If we look at our right angle theorem, it looks like we have a right angle here, but it doesn't look like we have parallel lines. Certainly these lines aren't parallel because they intersect here. Certainly this line and that line aren't parallel because they intersect here. And certainly this line and this line aren't parallel because they intersect right here. So, eh, no, none, right? No parallel lines. I might even just add that here. No parallel lines. Awesome. And I'm not saying we know the answer here, but 
take a look at over D. I don't think we have parallel lines there either. True. Awesome. Well, I know you'll have a lot of success as you work through the other problems in this homework set. Uh, please join me again next time for Mr. Kung Has Problems. Bye-bye.